Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the new Surface laptop. This one is the Core i5 model. This is kind of the sweet spot at $12.99. However, I found it on sale for about $12.50, $50 off, and Best Buy had a sale on it, and they actually are having a hard time keeping these in stock. They're very hard to find in certain areas. And so let's go ahead and open this up. And this is the Core i5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it also has a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Let's slide this open here. Or remove the top. And you may have seen my Surface Pro unboxing and I actually had a bunch of problems with the Surface Pro connecting it to domains and things. So I decided that I really wanted a bigger screen and decided to get this instead. And so this is the Surface Laptop in Platinum. I actually don't care for the burgundy or the other colors, plus those other colors are really hard to find. So this is the laptop itself. Let me set it aside for just a moment. And this looks very familiar as far as what's included compared to the Surface Pro. So this is our power adapter and I'll be using this with a dock. So I'll be using it with a dock that allows me to get a lot more ports and things and use it with an external monitor when I need to. And then I'll use it on the go. So this is the power brick the wall plug. This had something on that. I'm not really sure what it is, but you might be able to see it there. And then we have some literature with it. Let's see what we've got. And nothing really, no stickers, just a little overview guide and regulatory information, things like that. So let me put this aside. So here's the Surface laptop. It's pretty nice, nice and thin. slide this out here and here we go so this is made out of aluminum it's not magnesium like some of their other products and it's Alcantara inside with a nice keyboard a glass trackpad and a 13.5 inch display from corner to corner and it's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio now you don't get a whole lot of ports on this. You've got the surface connector here. So this allows you to connect to a dock or just charge it. These little cutouts are for the antenna right here. So this allows it to have better communication. We've got some vents on the back. And then on this side, you have a headphone jack, a mini display port, and a USB 3.0 port type A. No USB-C, that's probably the biggest downfall of this device if there is one. Uh, other than price, this is a kind of an expensive device, but you do have uh, this Alcantara. It's hard to say how this will hold up over time, but I'm going to be using this regularly uh, for certain tasks. I normally use MacBooks, and I'm going to be comparing them, things like that later. If you'd like to see those, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but this is, I really like the feel of this. Some people don't. I actually do. Let me power it on here. I'll go through the setup and if you want to see what the setup is like, I'll link the Surface Pro video. It's the exact same thing. It's actually assisted with Cortana. So I'll go through it and I'll be using this for a few days. I just want to do a quick unboxing, see what it's like. It'll be nice to kind of use something a little bit different. Uh, the screen looks really, really nice. Let me hit yes. And the speakers are under the keyboard. So that's kind of interesting also. So this is a really interesting setup. It's voice assisted. You can talk to it or you can just tap through and turn off the volume. It's up to you. And this seems like a really nice piece of hardware. Like I said, I'll be using it. And if you'd like a full review, let me know. The Surface Pro actually just seemed too small to me. And I thought maybe I'd try the laptop since I have to do a lot of things with Windows as well as Mac. So I do all my editing on a Mac. I'll do more administrative and work type stuff on this one. So let me know your thoughts of the Surface Laptop in the comments below. If you've actually tried one out, check one out in a Best Buy or a Microsoft store. They're definitely worth at least taking a look at. There's no serviceability though, so that's kind of a concern uh, that I think most people have, and it's a pretty valid one. But Microsoft says they'll stand behind their products uh, there was a recent consumer reports thing saying that uh, they're more likely to fail. I don't know if that's terribly true. It's hard to say Microsoft knows those failure rates, but with the Xbox 360, they definitely had some failure rates. So who knows, but they do stand behind the product. So it'll be interesting to try this out. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you'd like to see a comparison with a MacBook, something like that, let me know there as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching.
This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.